Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. It's been a long day. I have pretty much been sitting at my desk since about eight o'clock this morning, other than running out to go get some bean. After I made all my calls, I sat there from probably eight until almost three doing work, work. And then I had a conference call at 4.30, so before then I wanted to go get a tasty beverage. I'm done working for the night. I just finished dinner and now I'm going to film this. Today's topic sort of carries on with some others and that's selling gear and how annoying it can be. I have decided that it is now time to get rid of my Panasonic G9 and all the lenses and everything else that, that's coming with it. It has pretty much been sitting for at least three months, especially once I got the A6600. That's the go-to filming camera. So that G9 has pretty much been sitting and it needs to go because I can use the money for something else. I also talked before about how annoying it is to sell things on your own, whether it be eBay or Facebook Marketplace, wherever. Yes, I could get more money for all of this gear if I sold it outright. I already went to KEH before I tried to sell it on my own and got all the prices in a quote Everything stayed roughly the same. One lens actually went up from the last time I checked and the camera plummeted, which really sucks, but that's what happens. That's why they say invest in lenses because camera bodies come and go. I thought, all right, I have nothing to lose. I mean, just a few days and the quotes last for, you know, I don't know, like a week or two weeks. So I had nothing to lose by posting it. After I got all the quote prices, I posted everything onto Facebook Marketplace, which I have had pretty good success with. But I also have the annoyance that you get when you post shit like that. It only took a day for me to be so annoyed that tomorrow I'm packing it up and I'm sending it to KEH. So I had one person ask me about a flash and asked if I would be willing to ship it. And I said, it depends on where you live because I don't do international. It's too freaking expensive, wait too long. And once it's gone, it's gone. So they only live in North Carolina. I thought, man, yeah, sure, I'll do that. But then they said, do you have cash pay? And will it work with my Nikon D5600 or whatever the hell it was? I'm like, really? Come on, man. I'm selling all Panasonic gear. It's so frustrating because seriously, why would you ask me if it works on your fucking Nikon when I'm selling all Panasonic gear? I also had another person inquire about something that I was selling but they did it through Google Hangouts. And when I happened to oddly notice the Google Hangout thing, which I don't use anymore, I checked it and Chrome stopped it and said that it was going to a bad place. So I didn't even bother with that. And then, true to form, Facebook Marketplace took down my most expensive lens and said that I had violated one of their policies. The annoying part about that, because the entire camera got taken, like the entire system, because I was selling it as one big package, and they took it down and said that I had violated one of their things. And then they give a link to, to their terms of service or whatever the hell, their guidelines. But they don't actually tell you which one you, you broke, which one you went against. In fact, they don't even say that you actually did. They said you may have. But it doesn't matter because they took it down. And the only thing that you can do is click the button to appeal it, but it doesn't actually let you ask any questions. It doesn't let you explain nothing. You just hit that button and it says, we might look it over again. We might put it back up. We might not. So the last time I did it, I never even got a reply. That was it. I'm not dicking around with that. The camera and all the gear will be packed up and shipped off tomorrow. This is what I was talking about. Let's hear it for KEH. So I'm going to pack all this up, send it to KEH. Once they inspect it and, and they give me the final quote, take my money and run. That's really it. That's all I got. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.